Chapter 3. Three Men in a Boat We've come to the time of pirates, Jack said. Pirates? squeaked Annie. Like in Peter Pan? Jack flipped to the picture that showed the parrot, the sea, and the ship. He read the caption under the picture. Three hundred years ago, pirates raided Spanish treasure ships in the Caribbean Sea. He grabbed his notebook and pencil from his back. He wrote, Pirates in the Caribbean. He turned to the next page. There was a picture of a pirate flag. He read, The skull and crossbones flag was called the Jolly Roger. Let's go, said Annie. Wait, said Jack. I want to make a drawing of the flag. He propped the pirate book in the sand. He started drawing the Jolly Roger flag. Don't copy the picture in the book, said Annie. Look at the real thing. But Jack pushed his glasses into place and kept drawing. Jack, some pirates are getting into a rowboat, said Annie. Jack kept drawing. Jack, the boat's leaving the big ship, said Annie. What? Jack looked up. Look! Annie pointed. Jack looked. He saw the rowboat coming toward the shore. Run! said Annie. She started running toward the treehouse. Jack jumped up. His glasses fell off. Hurry! Annie called back to him. Jack went down on his knees. He felt for his glasses. Where were they? Jack saw something glinting in the sand. He reached for it. It was his glasses. He snatched them up. Then he threw his notebook and pencil into his pack. He put the pack on his back. He grabbed his boots and his socks, and he took off running. Hurry! They're coming! Annie was at the top of the rope ladder. Jack looked back at the sea. The pirates were closer to the shore. Suddenly, Jack saw the pirate book. In all the confusion, he had forgotten it. It was still propped in the sand. Oh, man, I forgot the book, he said. He dropped his socks and boots below the treehouse. Come on, Jack, Annie shouted. I'll be right back, Jack called. I've got to get the book. Jack, forget it. But Jack was already running toward the water. Jack grabbed the book. Come back, Annie shouted. Jack shoved the book into his backpack. Suddenly, a giant wave carried the rowboat right onto the beach. Run, Jack, shouted Annie. Three big pirates splashed onto the sand. They had knives in their teeth. They had pistols in their belts. They charged toward Jack. Run, Jack, run, cried Annie. And that's the end of chapter three. Chapter four, Vile Booty. Jack started to run across the hot sand. He ran as fast as he could, but the pirates ran faster. Before Jack knew it, the biggest pirate had grabbed him. Jack struggled, but the pirate had huge, strong arms. He held on to Jack and laughed a mean, ugly laugh. He had a shaggy black beard. A patch covered one eye. Jack heard Annie yelling. He saw her coming down the rope ladder. Stay where you are, Jack shouted. But Annie kept coming. Leave him alone, you bully, she cried. The other two pirates laughed meanly. They were dirty and ragged. Annie charged up to the biggest pirate. Let him go, she said. She hit the pirate with her fist and kicked him. But the pirate just growled. Then he grabbed her, too. And with his giant hands, he held Jack and Annie as if they were two kittens. No one escapes Captain Bones, he roared. His breath was terrible. Let go, Annie shouted into his face. But Captain Bones just smiled. 
All his teeth were black. Annie fell silent. Captain Bones laughed loudly. Then he turned to the other two. Find out what's in their house, you dogs, he said. Aye, aye, Captain, they answered, and they started up the ladder to the treehouse. What do you spy, Pinky? shouted Captain Bones. Books, Captain, Pinky shouted down. Ugh, books, growled Captain Bones. He spit on the sand. I want gold, you dogs. Dogs are nicer than you, said Annie. Shh, said Jack. What about you, Stinky? Captain Bones roared. Just books, Captain, shouted Stinky. Ah, books, said Captain Bones. He spit on the sand again. I hate books. Keep looking, dogs. Find me something good. Captain Bones grabbed Jack's backpack. What's in here? He said. Nothing. Jack quickly opened the pack. Just paper, a pencil, a book. Another book, roared Captain Bones. That's vile booty. A gleeful shriek pierced the air. Captain Bones froze. What's that? He shouted. Look, Captain, look. Pinky leaned out the treehouse window. He held the medallion. It glimmered in the sunlight. Oh, brother, thought Jack. Throw it down, cried Captain Bones. It's not yours, shouted Annie. Captain Bones dropped Jack and Annie. He caught the medallion as it fell. Gold, 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 he cried. Captain Bones threw back his head and laughed horribly. He grabbed two of his pistols. He shot them in the air. Pinky and Stinky howled like wolves. And that's the end of chapter four.